Hello everybody! Welcome back to another Legendary Location Guide here on Borderlands 3. Today I am back and I'm going to be talking about this little guy right here. The Legendary Assault Rifle called the Alchemist. So as you can see on the screen right now I managed to get this as a random Legendary Loot Source drop um, from a chest. But the uh, dedicated source for getting this is uh, over in the Jacob's Estate map, you can head to the crew challenge guide here from the legendary hunt, Heckle. Uh, after a while, he's a Goliath that turns into Hyde if you don't kill him fast enough. So uh, Jekyll and Hyde Easter egg right there. So if you want to get this, head over to there and farm Heckle and Hyde. Or like I have done right here, you can obtain it randomly. So let's talk a little bit about this gun then. This is quite an interesting gun really. It is a legendary Torg assault rifle. And uh, you can see when you shoot the bullets, they will stick. So uh, it has them sticky gyro jet bullets uh, and they will detonate on impact when you reload or after a certain amount of time. You can see right here you can stack your shots quite highly as well. Uh, you'll see in any second they will detonate by themselves right there. So that's how long they take to detonate. Or you can just randomly spam fire and then reload or switch weapons and they will go off. Uh, the interesting thing about these bullets is they will deal a big amount of shock damage. Uh, the detonation isn't shock damage, the detonation is incendiary. Uh, this makes the weapon really, really good because you can go ahead and launch a barrel to these gyro jets at high shielded enemies and it should strip their shields completely. Then if you time it correctly, you'll be able to reload or wait after a certain amount of time once the shield is stripped and the gyro jets will explode dealing massive amounts of incendiary damage so this is not a massively fast play weapon um, you can take enemies down quite quickly with it but for the strong shielded and boss enemies it really is a good idea to lay as many of these um, gyro jets onto them as possible leave it for a certain amount of time once the uh, shield is going down when the shield is completely stripped then hit reload and you'll just see all of these bullets exploding at the same time which is really really awesome to be honest uh, it's absolutely OP as hell if you used correctly a really really good weapon and I will massively recommend uh, picking this up so this will always be incendiary you will not be able to get it in any other element um, there is a lot of different things with this. If you want to go and check out the wiki, the Baldwin Street wiki for this, there are loads of different ways that this can be used amazingly. Um, so let's just say uh, you can use the Transformer Shield for um, uh, example, and the self inflicted shot damage will restore the Vault Hunter's shield based on the self inflicted damage due to the weapon. The self damage is not massive, it is very, very minimal. Uh, but like you said, uh, if you uh, actually pick a uh, transformer up and use it with this every time you shoot and cause the self-inflicted shock damage to yourself you will get some of your shields back as well uh, there's also an exploit with the uh, nova burner shield um, which uh, when the shield is fully depleted um, it will let out a massive nova trigger um, you can use this to actually uh, you know take your shields down quickly get them recharged etc there's all sorts of things there's um amara has some um, perks as well that this can be used with like i said i won't go into it too massively or i could be here for a long time so go ahead to the wiki uh, and type in alchemist and just read all of them for yourself <clears throat> so as a general um overview of this weapon i would say massively massively recommend that uh, getting this thing it can be used in all sorts of situations general mobbing you can fire uh, three four different people at the same time let the shield start reload and they will just pop in front of you it's also good as you can see uh, from the beginning when taking on heckle uh, and also uh, l dragon jr or whatever his name is they're big goliath um, enemies can be quite tough to take down you can just fire these shots at them hit reload and they will just go down instantly against the really 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 large bosses uh, may not take their shields down you know end bosses and things like that uh, straight away but if you can just try and get their shields down then pull this thing out it will do a massive amount of damage the bigger the enemy the easier it will be to hit as well it's also worth mentioning that the initial projectile on um, critical hits um, when it's uh, shocking them away will not cause a critical hit 
it is actually when you go to reload it and it, all the uh, gyro jets explode then the critical hits will occur so you can still score crits with these it just won't look like it when you first shoot if you stick someone's head etc they will not say critical but once you hit the reload button or switch weapon or they explode on their own then you will see a lot of critical hit um, appearing. Anyway guys, that was the Alchemist, the legendary assault rifle. Probably the best legendary in the game that I've found so far. I will go on uh, record and say that. Try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Check out the link in the description for the playlist for the rest of the legendary location guides. And I will see you guys in the next one.